Well, hi, my friends, and welcome back. Tonight, we have a special pirate story for you that I know that the female members of the crew are just going to love. Um, we've got quite a few female crew members who are really excited about a story that we usually do called She Wolves. And today, we actually have a story called Pirates Don't Go to Kindergarten about another young lady pirate called Emma. So, let's go ahead and get into this story. It's exciting for all the girl pirates out there to know that they're not alone. On the first day of kindergarten, Emma raided her sea chest. Treasure map, check. Spyglass, check. Cutlass, check. She was ready to set sail. If only Captain Chu, the roughest, toughest, awesomest preschool pirate captain ever could see her now. After a stormy crossing, Emma finally dropped anchor at school. She scanned her treasure map. Kindergarten ho! She scaled into preschool. Ahoy, Captain Chu, Emma hollered. Ahoy, good to see you, Emma, said Mrs. Chu. But the kindergarten classroom's down the hall. Emma peered through her spyglass. Mm, wrong classroom, wrong cubbies, wrong toys. Worst of all, wrong captain. Pirates don't go to kindergarten, said Emma. Ocean's rough today, said Captain Chu. Batten them then hatches, matey. I'm rowing the sailor to her new ship. Emma? Meet Captain Hayes. She's in charge of this spaceship. Welcome. You're just in time for liftoff, said Mrs. Hayes. Emma leaped onto the gangway and stared through the hatch. Stars? Planets? Rocket ships? It wasn't the high seas. But maybe with a few changes here and there, it could work. But a new captain? Now. Arr, Emma growled. You'll never take me alive. Splash, Emma swam back to Captain Chu's ship. Thump clump, she stomped her peg leg. Scrunch, splat, she dug for doubloons and scattered sand. Yo ho ho, she sang at the top of her lungs. Pirate Emma, you know the rules, Mrs. Chu said. No throwing sand and use your inside voice, please. Pirates don't follow rules. A kindergartner poked her head through a porthole. Mrs. Hayes needs a hand feeding the guinea pig. Can Emma come? Hi, Daniela, said Miss Chu. Emma, they need your help on the other ship. A guinea pig? In need? Aye, aye, Captain. Back at the kindergarten spaceship, Daniela gave Emma a tour. She introduced Emma to lots of busy astronauts before taking her to see some special cargo. Say hello to our giddy pig, Betty. Blimey! She's a pirate pig. I'm gonna call her Beastly Betty. After she snuggled and fed the pirate pig, Emma inspected the kindergarten spaceship. There was a nature center but no Captain Chu to look at seeds with. An artist studio, but no Captain Chu to show her paintings to. A reading nook, 
but no Captain Chu to read books to her. There were even some astronauts doing experiments at a science station. But still, no Captain Chu! Pirates don't feed pigs. Splash! Emma sw swam back to Captain Chu's ship. Emma mustered some mates and seized control of the preschool ship. Mutiny! The pirate band sneered and snarled, whooped and hollered, raced up the rigging and climbed to the crow's nest. Then, one by one, they fell asleep. Hey, pirates don't take naps! I've come to parlay, said Miss Chu. How do I get my ship back? Come with me to kindergarten. But I have to lead this new band of pirates. Then walk the plank. Emma brandished her cutlin. cutlass. Tie her up, mates. It's time to join your new mates, said Miss Chu. Kindergarten looks like fun, Emma whispered. But I won't sail with the new captain. Shiver me timbers, peg leg Emma. Captain Hayes is the finest captain in the universe. Emma slid coast. But she's not you. I'll miss you too, said Miss Chu as she hugged Emma. Can pirates visit their old captain? And borrow her bandana? Of course. Mrs. Hayes rode into the room. We're short one crew member for our spaceship. Can you spare someone brave and strong like Emma? Heave ho, shark bait. The astronaut and Beastly Betty need me. Emma swam away, away from Captain Chu's ship. Splash! Open the shuttle hatch. Pirates do go to kindergarten. Space Pirate Emma reporting for duty. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like she's still got to be a pirate after all, and a fine female pirate nonetheless. Some of the most fearsome out there. What a wonderful story, and I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time on Storytime with Doc, you be well, and I'll see you then.